left foot towards centre wing. Ross is there. Dispossessed by Caldwell. A long one in towards goal. What a magnificent kick that is. Getting back on it is Dunstan now. Crab over the top. Almost a mark. Hodgman soccer's off the ground. Has got the first goal of the game. The tall youngster gets a long kick down the outer side. Looking for Holst on the half forward line. Button lumbers back on the board. Supported by Zubernik. Showing a lot of pace as he comes out of defence. Short towards Seacamp. Being ridden into the ground and free. Shows a little bit of frustration there as he takes his kick. Swiftly forward, they go to the half forward line. Craig in there, reads it beautifully. A chance for Norwood now as it goes in towards Adler. One hand to it, can't complete it. Getting back on it, Cox. Madison there as well, but the ball goes across the line. Longish kick towards the forward line. Void in front, goes for the fist away. Finneman into the open goal. What a beautiful tackle and, oh gee, Stephen Highwood committed himself to the tackle and then into the goal post. Oh, goodness, didn't he hit that goal post with a thumb? The kick must be long. Greg's wobbly old kick is certainly not long. Finds Palm in the centre of the ground. Corn intercepts. Chance now for the Bays to run the ball into attack. Holst, if he can pick it up. Edge is clear of Greg and bolts towards goal and puts it a magnificent goal. McFarlane has Liu short. It's not a good kick finds Pake. Pake is Rady on the outer side. He's well clear of Clark. Rady and Clark are going to have a tremendous duel. It started already, of course. Hodgman mowed into the ground by Button, almost completely enveloping the smaller player. And Hodgman looks in trouble. He's not moving too much at all, and the trainers are coming from everywhere. They've got about five trainers out to the Star Rover as Caldwell takes the kick, puts it high in towards goal. Corns leaps in defence. It's copping now. Copping over to Holst. Holst hooks in towards goal. He's got another one, I think. Bounce through. Goal. Two goals to David Holst. From that half forward flank have been good goals for the Bays. Curley goes to the outer side. Michael Taylor there at the second grab takes it, forwards it to Craig. Craig a long one in towards the full forward area. Michael Gregg over the top, can't complete it. Well taken here by Madison, strides towards goal, drops it onto his boot and pumps it through. And a great start in the third quarter to the youngster in Madison. As Phyllis drives the ball towards the outer side, Pake from behind, the ball to ground. Zato, Ooh, just a heavy bump. Beats out a pass, Good, a great mark from behind. Oh, that was a good one. A couple of metres only out from goal. Grab by David Hull, snap goal, and he's put it through. Bill Button. 12 metres out right in front, and just have a look at that. You would have think the plague's down that end of the ground. But the action with Neil Button as he heads towards the McGill Road end. He's got the goal OK, and Norwood heads back within four points. Button, second goal. Still nobody in the Glenelg forward line. He's given it a tremendous chance. He's put it through. And then it would have to be the Catman's goal of the day. Right on the boundary line, he kicks the goal. That puts Norwood in front by two points. Elg with the ball through Freddie Phillips, but they've hardly had an attack in this last quarter. They have to pull really something out of the bag. Going down the centre, Bob Pike. Centre half back. They must move it quickly. Time must be running out. Who comes Finneman? Knocked off the ground. Madison. Cox now for Glenelg. Into the forward line it goes. Rainey through. Play held up. Highwood to take the kick on centre wing. Going towards the pocket. Clark back. Couldn't take the mark. All Norwood again. Holding the ball. Free kick the way of Daryl Rady in the right forward pocket. Could be the Bay's last chance, Ted. It could be the last chance for anybody. The end time must be running out. Daryl Rady for the right forward pocket. And kicks it straight out of bounds on the full. 30 minutes of time on. It must be at least five minutes of time on. 30 minutes has been played. Back towards Caldwell. Up grabs and has got the ball. 
He's too far out to score. Must be very close to Siren time. He plays on quickly, puts it up towards full forward. They set themselves there. The ball to ground. Curly comes through. In there is Dunstan. Jams it onto his boot. Out of bounds on the full. Avery with a kick. Oh, Ted, there must be only seconds left. Palm standing the mark. Avery indicating he wants him back. Avery puts it in towards full forward again. Players set themselves. Caught! Oh, what a magnificent mark! Would have to be the Makita mark of the day. The Makita mark of the year. And if he can convert this, the siren's gone. The siren has gone. Corns with the opportunity from 15 metres out to win the game. An unbelievable finish here at the parade. Graham Corns, can you go back to the grand final? In 73, heads towards the parade end. He goes back to the middle and the base of front. I don't believe it. What a magnificent, sensational finish. His third goal from 18 kicks, Ted Langridge. That was absolutely the supreme effort. He went so high that I'm surprised he had the energy to kick the ball after he got up from the ground. But there it is. History has been made by Graham Corns today just absolutely clutching a game out of Norwood's grasp. The picture told the story. All the words in the world couldn't go further than that. Well, Ian, it's a, you know, I think every footballer dreams of mm. marking on the siren and, and, and kicking a goal to, to, win the, to win the game for the team. And it doesn't really happen to a lot of players. And it really is perhaps the ultimate thrill and the ultimate personal thrill, apart from, from awards and premierships and, that, you know... Graham, we've got to believe way, you because it's the only way, in that position. It's the only way to win the game. Did you hear the siren? No, I didn't hear the siren. You didn't hear the siren? No, Did it. you think you were kicking for goal? Oh, no, I, I knew the siren had gone. Yeah. But I didn't hear it. The, the boys told me it had gone.